Okay, so what we're going to learn how to do is we're going to learn how to multiply by powers of 10. So that would be 10, 1,000, 100, 1 million. So anything with a 1 and a bunch of zeros after it, that's what we're going to learn how to multiply by today. So one thing before we get started, it's important to understand where exactly the decimal point is in a regular number. So on your screen I have 13. The 3 is in the 1's place, and the 1 is in the 10's place. The decimal is always right after the ones place. We just never write numbers this way and put a decimal there. It's never there. It's just 13. But if I wanted to know where the decimal was, it's always after the ones place. So what I'm going to show you how to do first is 13 times 10. So I put my decimal where it's supposed to go, where 13 is. And I'm going to multiply it by 10, which is a power of 10. Now you could line this up and do it the normal way and... Uh, spend all your time doing that, or with a power of 10, it's actually this easy. After a decimal point, there's an infinite number of zeros. That means it goes on and on forever and ever and ever. So I'm going to put one zero here because 10 has one zero. Now, when I multiply any number by 10, since it has one zero, all I'm going to do is move the decimal point over one spot. So 13 times 10 equals 130. Let's try another one. I have 27 times 100, so I put my decimal point right after the 7, because that's the ones place. And since I'm multiplying by 100 this time, I have two zeros. So I'll just put two of them here, just like 100. And I'm going to move this decimal point two spots since I'm multiplying by 100. One spot, two spots. So that means 27 times 100 is 2,700. Okay, the next one. 480 times 1,000. All right, so 1,000 has three zeros. So that means I'm going to multiply, or move the decimal, I'm sorry, three spots. So remember, the decimal goes after the ones place, even if it's a zero. I'm going to put three zeros here because we're talking about 1,000. And I'm going to move this decimal three spots because there's three zeros. One, two, three. So my answer would be 480,000. That's how you multiply by a power of 10 by just moving that decimal point.